in the past year, the wolf population went from a fairly low point at 16 wolves to its very lowest point, nine wolves this past year in 2012. So uh, that's, and a lot of it was due to high mortality that we don't even know the cause of. So um, yeah, that's kind of a big red flag. Uh, so the numbers are very low and then the sex ratio of the population is very unbalanced. So this winter we could only be sure of one female uh, who is in a breeding situation at least, one male, one female at the west end of Isle Royal. Uh, this pack at, at the east end had six members but it didn't seem to have any suitable female. Um, so yeah, they're just hanging by their teeth. <laughs> It's not surprising, really, given their genetic history and the genetic, the level of genetic inbreeding uh, that's been going on here. These are the most inbred wolves in the world, anywhere in, in the wild. Uh, so it's not a surprise, but it's uh, it's uh, interesting timing as as wolves have recovered in many parts of the lower 48 and are actually being hunted now. Uh, this population, which was has been the most secure of any of them, is actually going, possibly going extinct. The decline to nine—that's uh, a very big deal. <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, it's unprecedented in the last 54 years. So yeah, it's uh, when you pick out big deals in the last 54 years, uh, there's two or three of them. Uh, the arrival of parvovirus, which led to the big wolf drop in the 80s that was a very big deal the the winter of 95 96 which was the worst of the 20th century three-fourths of the moose starved to death and they'd they'd grown out of control because wolves have been kept down by disease so that was a very big deal and this wolf decline now is uh is on that scale i think uh, i mean for weeks you're in denial because yeah you saw nine eight or nine today but uh, maybe there's another pack out there somewhere, but after, as the weeks went on, uh, we realized, geez, there just isn't another pack out there. And uh, But we never gave up. I mean, the, the last flight, you're still hoping to find something that you didn't know about before, but they, they just didn't show up. Why we don't intervene now is, uh, is National Park Service policy, and actually scientific interests both are... Uh, in agreement that up till now, non-interference is, is the best approach uh, because we find out what, uh, what natural dynamics are really like where people aren't trying to direct the show. And there aren't too many places like this uh, anywhere, anywhere in the world.